hi beautiful people welcome back to the channel so in today's video i i'm going to be giving you the solution to that online international payment um, issues you've been having so recently i made videos on the i uploaded videos on the channel on how to shop from aliexpress so then i got few questions on my whatsapp and also um in the comments comment section that they've been some people have been having issues with making payments on the website so that their naira master and visa card has been declining and it keeps saying error error so in today's video i'm going to be showing you or giving you options that you can use to make payments on any international website be it um alibaba aliexpress Shein, and so on fashion nova and so on and so forth just name it so previously in the past we used to be able to you know shop with our naira cards visa and mastercard on any online platform on any international online platform and then you'll be debited in cbn rates so the rate that will be debited from your account will be cbn rates not the normal the aboki or the black market rate so then i could make purchases up to one thousand dollars per month on one card on one atm card cvn then reviewed the policy and then it was reduced to hundred dollar per month and then i could remember then that when each time i want to buy anything that is up to one thousand dollars i would have to be looking for like 10 cards to you know be able to purchase anything that anything that is above hundred dollars i know you i know you, i don't know if you get me so then the policy was reviewed again and it was reduced to twenty dollar per month and again it was reviewed again recently i think late last last year or thereabout and then all naira dominated uh accounts all naira dominated cards were cancelled you cannot make payments with international payments with any naira dominated um uh, card so in today's video i'm going to be giving you just two solutions two solutions to all these problems all these issues so the first solution i'll be giving to you is um you would have to create or open a dollar dominated dominated account so you this is how it works you walk up to your bank you go to your bank or any preferred bank of your choice then you um tell them you want to open domiciliary account usd and when um they would tell you the criteria as i think you'd have to bring two guarantors um that has current account they must have current account preferably from that particular bank but if you don't have anybody that has current account in that particular bank you can bring from other banks then also you have to bring um the first money you want to you want to deposit into the account for example, if you are opening a pound account, you have to bring pounds in cash. And if you are opening a dollar account, you have to bring dollar in cash. And I think as for the dollar account, the minimum denomination you can bring for your first payment is $100. So you'd have to, if you don't have anybody that can exchange Naira to dollar for you, you'd have to walk up to all these Aboki people and you know all these black market people and purchase dollar from them in exchange for naira they will give them naira they will give you dollar and it has to be in 50 50 dollar bills or in 100 dollar bills when i wanted to open my own dom account i went with one one dollar so they would not accept would not dollar. accept dollar in lower denominations i hope this makes sense so then you have to exchange you have to bring 100 you'd also have to bring your um international passport or any means of identification or even your driver's license also i can't really remember but you just when you walk up to them they will tell you the criteria you know things keep changing in nigeria just go there tell them you want to open a dollar account a domiciliary account us um usd based they would tell you the criteria okay so when you are done opening so after a few days i think it takes about few weeks maybe two weeks or so mine was opened in a week because because i have an account a naira account with them already so and so the two guarantors because the two guarantors i bought that were going to stand in for me are from access bank current account from access Bank. so it will be easy for them to verify but if you bring current account holders from other bank it will be it will take time for them to verify so it usually take like two or three weeks sometimes but i think mine was open in a week or two 
So once they open the account for you, a message will be sent to you, to your email and a text message. So you get your account number and your $100 will be deposited into your account. They are not going to eat your money. So that $100 you um, deposited, you give to them, will be the first money that will be deposited into your account. So it is for you. So then when they are done opening the account for you, then you go ahead and request for your ATM card. So as it is now, I have um, a GT a gt dollar account and i also have um, an access dollar account so i have two dollar accounts uh two domiciliary accounts so request for your atm card i think they would remove ten dollars from your uh, account that atm card is the solution to your problem one of the solutions to your problem so then you when you are when you're about to shop on international any international website just input your input your dollar card details as long as you have um as long as you have uh what is it called funds in the account if you do not have funds in the account there are many ways to fund your dollar account if you have people abroad you can go into all this beauty really change um uh business and start exchanging money and stacking dollar up into your account just tell them to send it to your account straight from sendwave there's a way you can send from sendwave i i think i'm going to make a video of that soon as well so the dollar enters your account through SendWave and then you credit whoever they want to credit here in Nigeria with the Naira equivalent. Another way you can fund your dollar account is to walk up to all these um, Aboki or do I call them black market people and then you ask them I want to buy dollar. They sometimes can transfer to your DOM account because some they all have DOM accounts. They all have um, uh, U, USD accounts so they can transfer to you straight just give them the Naira equivalent so those are the two ways you can fund your dollar account so the next solution to this problem is creating a virtual dollar card so there are many platforms out there that can that offers this virtual dollar card um, stuff so one of them is um, cheaper cash I don't know if you've heard of this cheaper app all you need to do is to download the app. You'd have to be very patient. You download the app because sometimes it takes, it takes like 24 to 48 hours for you to get fully verified and for you to be able to cre create your dollar card. So for this cheaper um, app, you don't have to move an inch. You don't need all this um, wala of going to the bank, you know, bringing people with current accounts as guarantors um and so on and so forth like that and also you don't even have to go go and start looking for where to you know source for dollar into your account so this app would ve would virtually create um an account an account for you and also you can create a naira and also a dollar dominated card on the app application so i'm going to show you how to create an account on cheaper and um create a virtual dollar card and um just basically create an account and this app you don't have any issues just load it with naira the dollar and um you convert the no naira to dollar so it is very very easy so let's get right into it if you use an iphone head on to your app store and download cheaper catch with with this logo if you use a uh, um, an android head on to your play store and download cheaper cash with this logo so then you click on the after downloading you click on it and it brings this page to you which says open free account or if you have an account just click on i have an account so i'm going to open a free account so in this case you can decide to use your email or your phone number so i'm going to use my email to um log in to create an account so then this is the email i'm using remember i have an account i'm just creating a fake account so then um a short code will be sent to your email address or your phone number and you input it here so then this is the next page is going to ask you if you are using this cheaper cash for savings investment or buy using to buy or sell of uh, or sell goods and services and so on and so forth so just click your preferred um, answer click on your preferred answer so this um this page is going to pop up remember you have to impute your legal name don't use your nickname your legal first and last name so then after then um you impute your date of birth ensure you impute your correct date of birth okay or else you won't be able to verify this app 
So then you impute, this page is going to pop up. You impute your preferred art, I mean your username, what you want your username to be. So then when you are done, you, you type in your address, your correct address as it is written on your ID. So then um, this page pops up for you to check your address and, you know, if there's any adjustment, you just make the adjustment here. And then you click on your gender, you then impute your country and the city you were born. The city they give birth to you in. Then um, you click on next. And then you're going to create a password, a short code uh, pin that you would always impute each time you want to log in into your account. So it's going to tell you to re-impute it for confirmation. So then the next one is to enable your face ID. If you are not ready to enable the face ID, just click on not now. So here are the list of countries where you can use cheaper, where you can create cheaper account from. Nigeria, United Kingdom, South Africa, South Africa, Tanzania, and so on and so forth. So that's basically it. Then you have a cheaper account. So now the next thing for you is to verify your cheaper account. So you'd have to verify your cheaper account for you to be able to create a dollar, a virtual dollar card. You can even create a virtual Naira card here as well. So now when you click on the profile on the right um, top corner, you see that your account number is yet to show. You can see the 9001 um, star, 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 star. So you have to verify your account first. You have to verify your account. You have to, after verifying your account, you have to wait for 24 hours for your account number to show. Now, um, to verify your account, you'd need your BVN. You'd have to verify with your facial, your, your picture. So now you click on, let's do it. It uh, tells you to take a picture and then it verifies. Then it uploads and tells you it has uploaded successfully. And then it tells you you are good to go. Now you want to impute your BVN. So after this, this BVN, you have to take a snapshot shot of your um, ID, either your international driver's license, uh, your driver's license or your international passport. So after doing that, you'd have to wait for 24 hours for your um, account to be verified. So now this is what the home page looks like. I'm just going to go ahead. Remember, this is a fake account. I'm going to use my verified account to show you what this page looks like. So the account number on this fake account is here to show. So you'd have to, we cannot wait. So let me just show you from my verified account. So before um, now, creating a virtual dollar card used to be very free. It used to be free, absolutely free. But recently, I think they changed their policy. So you'd have to load your Naira account with 2000 Naira, which will be debited when you are trying to create your dollar account, your dollar card. So now this is my verified account. You can see my account number there and then the bank name is there as well. All you need to do is to copy the account number and then go into your bank app with access or whichever bank you use and then paste the account details and upload and um, fund your cheaper account. So I just funded my cheaper account with 2,000 Naira. As you can see, it was 17 Naira there before. Now I have 2,017 Naira. So now the next step for is for you to know to fund your um, dollar card. So um, all you need to do is to go ahead and go to the home page where you can see the profile and all then you click on card so when you click on card the next thing is to it brings this page and then you try to type in 787 just for you to know the accurate amount dollar is the rate is at that day so then i'm going to fund my dollar card with the 2000 naira i just added to my naira account if this makes sense so i typed in 2000 naira and it gave me two dollar 54 cents so just click on fund and then it will be added successfully into your cheaper into your cheaper virtual dollar card 
So for your card details to show, you just have to click on show card details. Then all your card details will show your card number, the expiry date, and then the CVV will show. So you can input it on any website you want to make your payment. Remember, you'd have to fund your card first, okay? So that is that about the um, giving you the solution to your international online payment. And um, if you have any questions at all, if you encounter any problem while doing any of these um, processes, do not forget to leave them your your um, questions down in the comment section. Just ensure you follow every simple steps I have I have taught you in the video when you are creating an account on the cheaper cash on the cheaper app rather please do not forget to use your legal name don't use your nickname or those names those assorted names ensure you use your legal name else you'd have issues when you are trying to when you are trying to verify your cheaper uh, cheaper um account so also you have to be very patient okay because it takes about 24 to 48 working hours for them to be able to verify you and for you to be able to create your um dollar account and set up your account properly so that is that for today's video do not forget to subscribe like and share this video to your loved ones okay and also check this channel we have lots and lots of educative videos for you on the channel so that's it and i'll see you in my next one bye for now